and welcome to this video tutorial in the How to Model series. Today we are going to be discussing modeling stone walls. At the end of this tutorial you will know how to model stone walls in natural insulation form and also how to model stone walls from small scale stones. What you will need to model walls from foam is some old modeling foam or old insulation, a biro or a pen and a printout of the stones. To get the printout of the stones, you first need to get a picture of the stonework you wish to copy. This can be got by taking a picture with your camera or getting an image from Google Images. You then insert this photograph into a Microsoft Word or PowerPoint document. You can then copy the picture and paste it and mirror it so that you get a pattern that is equal on both sides. And you can continue doing this until you get a pattern which fits the size of the area of model stones on which you wish to model. I'll now show you the technique for modeling stonework from foam. Okay, now I'm going to show you how we can model some stone and brickwork from insulation foam. Now that's the same type of insulation foam that you might use for the landscaping part of the model and it's relatively easy to get and it works out very well for engraving and carving some stonework. Now here is a sample of say red brickwork that I done. Another sample here of say stonework or this is very similar pattern as well for say the cobblestones that might be seen around a medieval castle or something like that. But for our model we're going to be doing it for the front stone wall and here I have one part of the one side of the stone wall already started. Um, it's a very easy process to do as I was saying before you just cut your foam roughly to the height you want it and the thickness you want it and the length as well as you want. So in our model here we're going to have a stone wall either side of a gate so we're going to have a stone wall here we're going to have a space for a gate and we're going to have another stone wall coming in this other side here. Now the tools that I use to do this I was doing this kind of free form I had no particular pattern I just drew this pattern myself uh, you could take a picture of your model as I shown earlier on in the video previous to this and trace around the actual pattern by putting foot by printing it on a piece of paper and putting it on top of the insulation foam and just simply tracing around the pattern of brickwork that you may see so the process first really is just get a pencil, a pencil or a biro actually works out quite well because the biro gets into the foam and then it's just a matter of drawing in the pattern or the outline of the stone now be fairly gentle with the weight you put on the biro because if you put too much pressure on it you're actually going to break out chunks and this is quite flimsy as you can see it moving there so just be very careful of the pressure you put on the biro and there you can kind of start to see the pattern of the stone is emerging and you can kind of make out the depth of it there as well so you just carry on that pattern the whole way around model picking out bits of insulation at a time just take your time with it it will come out and what you'll notice as well is the kind of V shape of the biro will actually create the groove between the stones here and it'll actually also round over the edges of the stones as well for you so you carry on in that pattern until you have the whole side completed and the top completed and the far side completed and also the two ends as shown here. Now when you have all sides carved out with the biro and you're happy with the shapes of the stones, the next process we do is the front of the styrofoam here or the insulation is actually quite straight so to give it a kind of a rough look that the stone would have we actually use 
a bit of a broken stone just to push it in and if we go along our piece there and especially on the corners and that and on the edges if we push gently on them now you'll hear you'll hear a crinkle of it don't put too much pressure on it because if you put too much pressure on it you'll actually break it and we just rough up the stone like that then especially see where we have a nice 90 degree corner there we can dress that a small bit and it just takes the kind of neat and perfect look off the stone it'll make it look more realistic when we come along to paint it and this is a sharp edge on the stone especially that's good to stick in amongst the stones here as well as you can see there it kind of gives the stones little dents and just takes the crisp edges off them like so and that's how you model a stone wall it's a very similar process as I said to maybe doing the keystones or the cobblestones that would be on the ground or even on a wall of a castle or anything like that or for doing red brick in any other heritage buildings that you may see in your locality. To make a model stone wall from actual stones, we use small scale stones. The stones that I usually use are fishbowl stones, but you can get some small scale stones as well, which you might find around in the yard or in your driveway at home. You would also need some PVA glue to help stick the stones together some cardboard to make a mould or form for the stonework and also some lollipop sticks. I'll now show you the technique of how we actually produce a small scale stone wall. Okay the next next method of making a model stone wall I'm going to show you is actually using small scale stones. Now these stones here are in fact uh, stone from that we just use in an aquarium or in a fishbowl. You can buy them in the local pet store. I got a five kilo bag of these for three euros, so they are fairly cheap and they do actually go an awful long way. So the method for doing it is again quite simple. We use a mold or a farm. Now this form I made was cut to the length of the wall that I want to make. It's cut to the thickness in here. The internal dimension is the thickness of the wall I want to make. And it also is the height here of the wall that I want to make. So what we do is to prepare the form. We fill it dry first with the stones that we're going to use. So we, we know the exact amount of stones that we need to actually prepare with glue because we'll be mixing the stones with glue and once the stones are mixed then we get some cling film and we just pop it down inside the mold there like so now what this cling film will do is it'll stop the glued stones actually sticking to the mold here so we can reuse this mold over and over again and when we come along to gluing the stone wall that we make out of it we put a lollipop stick down the bottom of the form here so we can actually glue the lollipop stick to our model instead of having uh, see because the top of the stones would be quite rough here and uneven and you'd never get a proper gluing surface so as I said you prepare the mold like that cling film and lollipop sticks you get your model stones put them into a container You get some PVA glue and mix it in and then you mix all that up together so that all the stones get coated with PVA glue. 
you can see there there's a nice thick coat of glue on them so we take back in our mold and we simply pour in our stones into the mold and you can kind of compact the stones down then as well so that you can be sure that the stones actually reach the bottom of the mold for you So when you have the whole mold full up, you leave it aside, uh, probably preferably in a warm, dry place, and it'll probably take about maybe 24 or 36 hours to go off. And then when it's all finished and completed, lift it out of the mold, and what you're left with is something that looks like that. So you can get a really nice stone effect. And in the video I've also in the series on dry brushing, I'll show you how to actually turn the black stone here and replicate a real stone look on it by adding some of the model grass we already made and so on. Okay.